Imagine you're part of the Minoan civilization, just hanging out with your feet painted face down by the water's edge on the north shore of Crete, circa 1600 BC. Biting flies knit the breeze around your head. Wavelets slap discreetly ashore. When the volcanic island of Thera detonates 70 miles to the north, the concussion, even where you're standing, knocks passing waterfowl out of the air. Oxen are jolted to their knees. Back where Thera used to be, more than 35 cubic miles of the equivalent of dense rock have been blown out of the water and up into the troposphere. That's all of Manhattan and the bedrock beneath it, concussing upward 30,000 feet. It's as if something has convulsed the horizon and churned the bowl of the sky above. What you're looking at, no one in recorded history has ever seen, before or since. Long before the blast column has reached the upper atmosphere, the shock wave coalesces in a grim line that radiates from the outer edge of your field of vision all the way to your little inlet. The oxen still on their knees, low in terror and struggle to regain their footing. Your boy, your primary responsibility, seems to have slipped from your grasp. Everyone just gapes while the surge flashes across the last of the distance, and when it hits, you're knocked flat like the oxen, the palms above and around you stripped of their leaves in a roaring turmoil of wind and sand. The woman beside you is on her hands and knees. The infant she'd been holding is face down and crying nearby at the end of a swaddling cloth that apparently unspooled in the impact. One ox is up and is lumbering inland. Off the beach, a dark blue band races like a furrow back out to sea. Your boy calls to you through air alive with grit and glittering in the sun. He has only one eye open, which may make the view a little less painful. Once the undersea furrow finally aligns with the furthest edge of the sea, it holds steady for a moment. Your boy is still calling. The infant is still crying. Then the horizon line darkens still more and widens, all of this accompanied by a continuous rolling thunder that seems to emanate from somewhere beyond the curve of the earth. Another ox has gotten to its feet and bold in panic past its handler. It's only when you look to the east and west that you realize the band is widening because it's rising into a wave whose size is without precedent. 